Hello, you all. Y'all already know what we about to get into. Oh, let me start off, y'all, because it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But I had to... I had to one rest. I had to fast, too, as well. And... That's really important. You know to do. So sometimes... I might be gone, you know. You all got to take care of your spiritual health and take care of yourself too as well. So I was on a fasting. But I am back and I did miss y'all. I was like, I was going to upload yesterday, but I'm like, and then I was like a kid, you know, kid getting ready for school. Like I couldn't wait to see y'all. (laughs) <laughs> the next day I'm like I'm gonna upload the next day so here I am and then, you know sometimes you also gotta make people think that they doing something too <laughs> you know how that go You already know what we finna get into and how we do. We finna see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. I did upload a couple of messages yesterday on my community. And my community board as well. So, y'all can check that out. Look, as I split the deck, we got the sun and then channeling energy with the Queen of Cups at the top. Yeah. Now let's see, y'all. Yeah, I had to step back and pay attention to some things. And I got some clarity and some information. So you made me laugh too seeing people copying stuff like that as I've been gone people copying and you know having the same things as me and stuff like that I'm like oh people is crazy (laughs) people be so crazy and then you know taking that step back too as well the things that the divine was showing me I seen some of the things that was predicted you know come in the past too as well and I wouldn't have been paying attention you know because I would have been you know in the doing what I'm doing so yeah sometimes you do got to take a step back but y'all enough of that we finna get in to see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time it is a different like little setup so y'all gonna have to bear with me with this for a little minute, little change, little change. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, Oracle card, and then we have the Judgment, and then the World. And then the Seven of Cups. So this is basically piggybacking off of what I was just saying, y'all, because I'm seeing it. So this message could even have something to do with me. But, you know, I might not be the only one who, you know, took a little break or people be trying to do stuff to it or whatever the case may be. But let me just ask before I continue. Does this have something to do with me? So we do. So y'all, we gonna, I'm going to just share this with y'all. So even just from what I'm seeing, so the Ace of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles is me and my work, you know, badass being full of life, love, and possibilities and my calling, judgment, divine messenger. Also with the world card, whatever I have is eternal. My understanding, the thoughts that I channel, the power and the victory, you know, I'm going to always bring things into creative action that I get from the cloud, right? 
So, and I am also gifted, which y'all know, y'all see. And I have, I have clarity on my purpose. That's why I do what I do. I know what I'm here to do, you know? And I've been perfecting my craft and growing within it too as well. If y'all been here since the beginning, I'm not the same as I once was before coming into it. Because at first I was shy, even getting on camera, talking, whatever the case may be, because this is not normally what I do. Now, even with my people and, and you know, friends and stuff like that and family, I might have talked with them, opened up a little bit with them or whatever the case may be, or a lot, depending on how comfortable I was with you. But I wasn't even like this, you know, with them. Like just more reserved, chill back, laid back type individual. So getting on here and doing this and talking to you and all of this, this ain't nothing but the divine because I wouldn't be on here talking. <laughs> I wouldn't be on here talking to you. So and just me even being expressive and showing me and being authentic, you know, too as well in the beginning. You know, just coming into something new, you really ain't gonna be super open. But now I'm super open, and y'all got me now. <laughs> but you know, this is me. You know, focusing on my work, my purpose that I have clarity in, and that's all I be doing, y'all, for real. The things that the divine hand to me—that's all I do. I work on them things. I build upon them things. And it's another thing that I have been doing uh, within fashion too, as well. Um, I did create like some items and some clothing and stuff like that myself but I also been like putting together you know outfits and stuff like that which I even seen today that somebody was copying me and doing exact after I uploaded my stuff and how you know this person ended up doing it so I'm like oh whatever <laughs> you know I'm just saying you know I'm happy to be of inspiration like and this person so happened to roll with people that I really don't care for. Like, people be thinking you don't see them, but the most high will put it in your way every time for you to see. But anywho, that's all I be doing. I be working on, you know, the gifts that the divine bestowed upon me. And even within that aspect, I've seen myself grow and get better and better too as well. Um... But yes, I am a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. And I'm going to still upload this message because guess what? Some of y'all, I'm not the only one who has been through this. Some of y'all can have been through something like this. It may be with something different. Mine, as far as my work, my creativity, uh, the gifts that have been bestowed upon me, people be hating. But me, uh, people thought that it was over. So somebody could have thought that they ended me because I wasn't because <laughs> I wasn't uploading, but really I was just resting, praying, fasting, you know, taking care of myself. Uh, <laughs> and somebody could have thought that they ended me. Like, oh, it was over. She gone. She done. <laughs> so that could be when somebody was like feeling like somebody could feel like they called judgment and I was gone or something like that. But that's an illusion, okay? seven of cups <laughs> I, I, even when I be gone I still be communicating you know what I'm saying like somebody thought that they oppressed me somebody teamed up together <laughs> some karmics teamed up together and communicated something and they thought that whatever cruel thing that they were doing they thought that that's the reason why I was gone no illusion seven of cups <laughs> So, yeah, when I be telling y'all, man, people be crazy, man, people be so crazy. So some people teamed up and they learned them a little something here. You see with the three of pentacles and they thought whatever cruel act that they was doing was affecting my communication, but they, that was supposed to be made for you to believe that. Um, see y'all always, people like to always roll with the devil and shit, right? But and do stupid shit. But me being who I am, and I'm a divine messenger, right? You, you, I swear people don't be thinking, like, you're not going to, you're not going to think that the divine will let me know. Or you're not going to think that, I don't know. I don't know what people be thinking, but Okay. So somebody was communicating, doing some dark ass shit. More than one person, they teamed up to do this. 
Somebody could be a Scorpio, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Pisces, a Taurus, a Virgo, or they could have them signs in their chart. They teamed up with their abundance here. And look, I ain't even bullshit. Let me put this in the camera so y'all can see. This is just off the tippy. <laughs> and y'all seen me shuffle. They used, they teamed up and used their abundance to defeat me and when i was gone they was like oh good news good news <laughs> when i was gone they like good news good news so these people was happy we also have sagittarius energy coming up here but these people this community don't understand that within chaos i remain balanced because of yashua so while y'all was doing that i was singing to the sun <laughs> And being unconditionally loved. <laughs> so, okay, like, <laughs> but I see what y'all, I see what y'all was on. Y'all thought that y'all did this to me. Y'all thought I was gone. Y'all thought y'all had me down bad. Or, and I wasn't sick either. None of that. <laughs> None of that. What is sick? None of that. You, you feel me? I was just vibing out getting that rest because I, I probably wouldn't do it. I just keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny and that rest is important. I'm going to always tell y'all that. So there was a man. This man could have been a leader and trying to do whatever this is. There could be an Aries somewhere too as well. But these people is defeated. This man is going to be in the Five of Pentacles. Whoever this emperor is, Somebody could have fell ill or something. Somebody could have also been in some form of isolation too as well. See, what's going to happen is whoever was involved, whether these was masculines and feminines, this was a team effort too. And that also lets me know who I am because y'all had to huddle up to do some shit. Y'all are weak. And it didn't touch me. See, when you led by the spirit and when you led by the most high, he gonna lead you to do certain things. And sometimes I have to listen to that. Like, I had to listen to it. Oh, sit, sit, you know, sit down for a little bit. And I got to see some things. I got to see what people was doing. Chilling back, laughing. <laughs> like I always do. And now I'm on here laughing. And when I upload this, y'all gonna be what? Mad. Because y'all wasted y'all fucking time. And y'all still got defeated. And that good news that y'all was looking to receive is y'all ain't get it either. <laughs> and it's gonna be y'all. Somebody gonna get sick. There's an emperor. And this emperor could have could be a source of y'all stability or something like that, this motherfucker gonna get sick and fall ill or go broke. Y'all making y'all own people ill. Y'all doing stuff to y'all own people or this is y'all. Wicked. <laughs> Just wicked. Because look, while y'all was doing that, y'all thought, which I thought that Y'all thought that I left what I had outside in the cold. I will never leave outside in the cold what the Supreme Ruler got for me. Star seed beyond crystallization. That's all. Like, I am in union with the divine. I don't know why do I have to keep saying that over and over again. But, hey, do y'all big one. Do what y'all got to do. Because y'all haters is always going to be defeated. Do what you got to do. And I'm going to still keep showing up. Like, surprise! I know y'all probably thought I wouldn't. And then, what was so funny, too, as well. Yeah, somebody gonna be laid to rest. What is y'all doing? See, y'all changing stuff within y'all own lives and y'all own self. Because, look, Emperor, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Four of Swords. So, one of y'all people could have got sick. Or a father figure within y'all life could be going broke, getting sick. Or this is one of y'all who tried to do this against me. They huddle up together, but y'all gonna be y'all gonna be disappointed. Somebody's scared. 
of the changes that's going to come for them. Because guess what? I'm protected from the change that y'all try to do me. And look, justice. I'm going to always get justice. And <clears throat> confirmation. I'm going to always get justice. And all y'all do is enhance me. So go ahead. Like, I ain't even going to tell y'all to stop. Hey, stop messing with me. Stop doing that bullshit. No, go ahead. So I can get better and better and better. <laughs> enhance me. I slow down for that. For that blessing. Hell yeah, I'll slow down real quick. Take a little load off. <laughs> for that blessing. Yes, I will. Thank you for the enhancement, suckers. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all try to see what y'all mean for evil. That don't mean that that's what the divine going to make it so be. What y'all meant for evil to do against me, the most I use it in my favor. So y'all teaming up, thinking y'all learning something and doing something. All y'all have been doing is a community and we see the community card is defeating y'all selves. So everything that y'all think y'all do to me, y'all are doing to y'all selves. So just keep that in mind while y'all trying to oppress somebody and be cruel. Because I had a good time with the creator when my little load off and my rest. Mm-hmm. Whoever this King of Wands is. King of Wands Emperor. Only <laughs> you're slowing yourself down, like Somebody going to want to end up, uh, somebody was trying, yeah, you let go. You cannot have my, listen, somebody want my essence and everything. You cannot glamour in my energy. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> you can't have my energy. Shoot, listen, I'm at peace. I've already intergalactic mastery. I pay attention to what the sun telling me, honey. <laughs> this is crazy. Straight got a higher perception of things. Loyal to the soil. <laughs> Loyal to the soil. Right after that is the chariot. I'm going to overcome that obstacle. Because I hold the what? The vision. And I got the what? The key. <laughs> so it's just like, and I'm one with who? And you, you with who? Like, so. <laughs> just like, I don't understand. And I'm just not in the cups energy because I'm not like partnered with nobody. I'm partnered with, with the divine. Universal oneness. Wish fulfillment. That's my wish fulfillment. Wish y'all's. Because <laughs> I, I am getting mine. What is y'all? And my victory going to be communicated every time. I'm going to remain skilled. You can't do nothing about it. It's already happened. It's already went down. I am connected to my higher self. So that sorcery, all it does is cause a revolution within me. Because I can. I am that magician. Ace of Cups. <laughs> so go ahead. Have, have fun. Defeating y'all. <laughs> Confirmation. Go ahead, have fun, defeat y'all selves. Shoot. Ain't nobody got to do nothing to y'all. Y'all going to wipe y'all selves out. So we got an emperor and a king of wands here so far. Trying to slow down a great diviner, the star. Honey, you ain't going to do that. This was your plan to slow me down? No. You ain't slowed down nothing. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, you or, or you or this could represent me too. You trying to entrap me, but I'm too strong for you. 
Way too strong for you. Y'all weak. Y'all got to pair up to do what y'all got to do to me. Look, strength, right after strength, everything is fine. Because <laughs> it is. <laughs> it, everything is still fine. I have a higher conscience than you. I'm still creative, still in my new beginning, still creating. It's done. To the queen of cups, to the hangman, still intuitive as fuck to the moon. It ain't no deception about it. Y'all deceptive, though. Y'all try to do deceptive things. Ooh, y'all done, hit, y'all done hooked up with a high priestess that was working hard, huh, for y'all. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Battling just to lose. Because I'm gonna get that what? That justice. So go ahead, battle. And I ain't even fighting. That's the thing, too. Thought you was gonna get justice or offering me up? Y'all punk-ass, whack-ass community. I don't know what y'all is to each other. But y'all little punk-ass, whack-ass community trying to offer people up and shit, that ain't gonna work. Y'all some motherfucking dusties. But y'all take that risk, though. I'm telling you, somebody gave somebody an opportunity to do something. (sighs) And tried to hide it. I'm a whole miracle. I see them codes in nature. I see codes in everything. When the divine speaks, I see it. So I know what's hidden. The moon car also represents that vision, honey. That y'all thought y'all end it with the world? No, what I have is eternal here. So when y'all try to partner up with a witch doctor, okay, what's that gonna do? That witch doctor ain't more powerful than the most high. So fuck you, that witch doctor and whoever else y'all teamed up with to do some shit. Now you, that witch, all y'all gonna be in the five of cups at a fucking loss. Now y'all lives and money and health gonna be messed with instead of mine. Whatever you try to do to me, you do to yourself. And what I'm gonna get out of it is I'm gonna get enhanced. I'm gonna get better. That's all. This great diviner is guided by the light whether you believe it or not the fuck here come a tower for Scorpio you think you sneaky you an enemy you you hating ass lame so this could be your friend or something somebody or maybe somebody I celebrated with who knows but you gonna be sorry motherfucker for your foolish acts (laughs) yeah cause that energy being channeled to your family motherfucker instead of me so let's see if your family could tolerate what the fuck you just did idiot can your family tolerate that shit that you just did that sorcery because this ace of cups mean what it's gonna be enhanced baby i'm gonna celebrate thank you and i was and i was hearing that kurt franklin song i that was playing this morning shoot do you want do you want a revolution whoo whoo <laughs> your family tolerate what the fuck you just did ask yourself that can your family handle it because that's where it's going it ain't coming to me it's going to you and your shit i don't know who you is scorpio cancer pisces can your people handle it aries leo sagittarius can your virgo capricorn taurus leo Aquarius, can your motherfucking people tolerate it? That's what you should have. Pisces, ask yourselves that. Can y'all tolerate what the fuck y'all sitting out? Because guess what? That energy is being channeled to y'all, not me. When y'all send that, it go right through me and I get enhanced. Thank you. But will y'all enhance? Can your family and your friends and you tolerate what the fuck you put out? I don't think so. That's why your ass gonna be sorry. Fucking page. Great diviner, star, queen of cups. I got Aquarius highly aspected in my chart and I am that queen of cups amongst all of the rest as well. So when y'all be going to them voodoo priestess and y'all be going to them other priestess and doing all that shit, 
and y'all be really feeling like y'all be getting off with them little readings and doing whatever the fuck y'all be doing, guess what? I hold every sign in my motherfucking chart, every element, and I am every queen and a high priestess, and I could come out in masculine form too as well because I am balanced. He that's within me is greater than what's in this world. So y'all think y'all messing with me by trying to temper with my spirit and doing things to me. But guess what? I know who I am. You don't know who you are. And when y'all do stuff like that, y'all be messing with the spirit. And the spirit is who? Because it's only one spirit. I don't give a, I don't, listen, I don't give a fuck what everybody else want to name shit, call shit. Put whatever they want to put on it. It's one spirit, one understanding. So when y'all doing all of that shit, you want to know who you doing it on? The creator. That's why in the Bible it says, do not curse and lie, right? And y'all think cursing is all saying damn and shit. No, that's doing all of that cursing and that work and that bullshit y'all be doing. And people do be doing it. I don't care if people want to be like, oh, they be talking about magic and they be talking. No, people do be doing it. You can be stupid if you want to. That's why voodoo people is employed. You're people who do kitchen shit. That's why you see it all on TV because that's what pe people be doing. And now, even on social media, you will see a witch or a warlock talk about come get this love spell. Like, that's the fucking shit to do. But when y'all playing shit like that and y'all mess with people's spirits and shit like that, y'all think y'all be fucking with people because y'all be hateful and dislike them and y'all be trying to be cruel on this devilish dumb shit. No, you're messing with the creator. So get rolled over because you ain't stronger than the creator. So go ahead. That's why I was saying, hey, don't stop. Do what you got to do. Because, <laughs> hey, do what you got to do. Y'all feel like y'all can do this to me. Or y'all can do this to people that source. Or y'all feel like y'all can. Y'all can. Go ahead. Y'all some badass magicians. Y'all some badass magicians. But guess what? I'm protected from that change and I'm going to get justice so it's going to balance out. It's going to balance out. You can't glamour my essence. You can't glamour my energy. You can't do anything that you think you're doing to me. It's an illusion. You slow me down, I get better. You try to hold me back, I get better. You give me time to perfect what the fuck I got going on. That's it. Idiots. Thank you, though. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna leave that out. Thank you. I am grateful. Because now I've just been sitting back like, oh, yeah, that's this what they... Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. That's how I've been. Cool. Because, <laughs> shit, what I'm gonna get next? <laughs> that's what I was like, what I'm gonna get next? You feel me? What am I going to get next? So keep unlocking. Keep keep doing it. I ain't even going to tell you to stop because keep doing it. Because I'm, I'm curious of what I'm going to get next. I can read messages through cards. Shit. The visions in my dreams, I'll be seeing y'all too. And when y'all be trying to cloak yourself, I see and I know exactly who's doing what. Just because I don't say nothing, who cares? I, the information is for me. It ain't for me to go after you because guess what? Vengeance belonging to Yahweh because that's who y'all messing with. So I ain't got to come do nothing to you or even confront you. I just sit back and enjoy the show. And it's been a hell of a show for real. It's been a hell of a show. And I've been in awe. I don't, know about, I don't know about you or y'all, whoever doing the bullshit, but I've been in awe. Seeing these miracles transform and seeing that word come alive right in front of my face. I'm blessed. And then me continuing to enhance. I can hear, I can read your mind. I know what you're going to do sometimes before you even do it. Keep enhancing me. Thank you. Because I am so curious to what's next. Keep making me better. Keep making me better. Keep making me better. Trying to attack me to death. Damn. <laughs> Keep making me better. 
keep trying to attack me to death. You want me dead? Wanted me to lie, wanted me to cry, wanted me to die. I, I keep trying to cut me down. I'm protected by that angel. <laughs> I'm, I'm protected by that angel. Y'all don't even know what y'all are doing. But go ahead. Keep trying to cut me down. Keep trying to attack me to death. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Um, look what they doing. This is crazy. Keep going against my essence. You don't even know what you're going against. My essence is of the sun and the moon. All I'm balanced all the way around. And y'all is foolish. But it's going to be made clear to y'all. Like it's already been made clear. But I guess some more got to go down for you. Been trying to attack me to death. Trying to transform things. You feel like you got the authority to do so? No. It's going to go to y'all. So tell your family and your friends and yourself thank you for what occurs in y'all lives. <coughs> Confirmation. Because y'all going to have a difficult, a difficult journey. With this six of swords, y'all gonna get sent on y'all motherfucking way. Keep taking this fucking stupid ass action with this knight of swords energy. Want my energy so bad. Want my essence so bad, but then try to dog and end me though. Ain't that a trip? There's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius too. That's all y'all do. Let it go. <laughs> Damn, let it go. Just go. This is how y'all get down, boy. But y'all been told just to go several times because this death is going to blow back into y'all. Keep trying to attack me to death. The death is coming to y'all. Y'all probably already done lost people. Sit back and think about that. Horn hunt confirmation outside. Sit back and think about that shit. Keep trying to cut me down. You're going to keep cutting your own self down. Think about that. Every time you try to chop off some shit with me, it's going to be chopped off in your motherfucking life. Y'all better pay attention to who the fuck y'all fucking with. I be trying to be nice, but y'all don't like nice. Because I'm going to be at peace. I already to master myself. I'm going to continue to pay attention to what the sun talking about. And I got a higher perception. So for real, for real, I ain't mad. But I am channeling energy, and y'all rotten. Rotten as hell. But go ahead. Y'all been told to let it go and just go. Hey, do y'all big one then. Shit. Ain't gonna make me no never mind. Because my legacy is for me to be who I am. Y'all been trying to do this to cut me down. Y'all want me to let go of my vision? let go of what's internally in me for me to stop being the high priestess the fuck out of here y'all want me to tear a piece of me away for y'all liking no I am who I am it's eternal I am who I am it's my legacy right at the top of the deck my fucking legacy you're not gonna end my legacy and when you do it in secret, I can see it. I'm a high priestess, oracle, whatever you want to put on it. I can see it. Oh, I can see that shit. Legacy, star seed. I can see that shit. Divine feminine, connected, free, already initiated. The star again, I see that shit. And then right after that, look what's right after that. Look what's right after that. Magic, alignment. All, all that magic y'all do gets me in alignment. Thank you. I'm a healer. I can heal that shit. The fuck? I already been initiated. Y'all wicked. Boy, you can't change my legacy and change who I am. And I'm not going to cut that out for you. Any of y'all. Nobody. And then y'all want to cut somebody down and want them to want to attack them to death and do all of this shit. But guess what? 
You should want to attack yourself for being a fucking hater and being cruel and trying to be oppressive. But not only that, even if I was the past, guess what? <laughs> that energy still going to live on. Y'all have no idea what y'all fucking with. Like, please, y'all can't kill the creator. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody talking nice to y'all motherfuckers. Get the fuck out of here, stupid ass group. Look, witches and warlocks. Then y'all doing y'all solo shit. All I keep doing is resurrecting. Y'all keep doing y'all solo shit, y'all cruel shit. Look, and then y'all end up in the nine of swords. Y'all keep doing spiritual dumb shit. Y'all gonna get, look, y'all gonna have to take accountability. The divine is holding y'all accountable with y'all little group doing this witch shit and this warlock shit. And then some of y'all go do it solo. So somebody be doing some solo shit out the group. But all I'm gonna do is resurrect. Every time y'all try to oppress me. The fuck? Hate somebody so much but want to take their energy too as well. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Page of Cups to the Fool. Which y'all think because I'm younger than y'all or what? Or y'all think... What the fuck? I don't know what y'all think. But I am a spiritual child, and I am innocent. I don't understand. Innocent of what y'all trying to accuse me of, I say that, because ain't nobody innocent. We all ain't going to play that shit, too. You know, we all do stuff. We all ain't nobody good but the Father. I'm going to put it like that. But I'm innocent of what y'all trying to do to me, trying to cut me down and trying to do all this bullshit. I don't deserve that. Somebody doing something spiritual with sexuality, too. So, it's probably some type of sex magic going on, too. Y'all, weird. You're happy as hell to make them offerings. But y'all, it'd be like, y'all might as well put y'all own self down. Because y'all making an altar. Y'all, y'all making, ooh, yeah, somebody got an altar. Y'all putting them altars on y'all own damn self, idiot. Trying to mess with somebody's sexuality and shit. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? Uh, doing sex magic and be happy. Go ahead, then. Making altars and shit. Yeah, trying to mess with somebody's nature. Guess what? That got healed, too. Balance, temperance. I'm that Empress High Priestess and everything underneath it, too. Y'all crazy. <laughs> what, the, what the hell is y'all is crazy. And then y'all see what the Most High has had, because I'm, I'm just a vessel. I'm a messenger. So y'all see what I deliver come to pass in y'all lives and y'all still fuck around. That shit crazy. <laughs> y'all crazy, man. Y'all is crazy. But the divine gonna step in for me every time. So do what y'all do. Like I said, do y'all big one. And I'm gonna sit back and watch the show. Graveyard. Protect it from that graveyard magic too. Protect it from that bullshit. Y'all just gonna bury y'all people. Hey. Y'all gonna bury y'all selves and bury y'all people. So do what y'all gotta do. Cause shit gonna balance out as it should. <coughs> Confirmation. Cause I ain't burying nobody. I ain't trying to cut y'all down. Y'all or y'all people. I ain't got time for that shit. Too busy working. On what the divine handed to me and gave me. Too busy in my calling. And y'all too busy worried about me. Worried about the wrong shit. Y'all should be worried about getting y'all health and rescue. And being that one with the most high and the creator. Instead of fucking around with the devil. Because y'all keep getting fucked up. Yeah we got uh, greet the darkness. So y'all be in that dark shit. Trying to cut somebody deep. With these rituals. In that dark shit. Trying to cut somebody deep with these stupid ass rituals. 
but I greet the darkness too, because guess what? In order for me to be this high priestess and this empress, I had to go through the dark to get to the light. And that's how I'm able to deliver and talk to people and know where they are at, because I've been through that. And guess what? Y'all just jam-packed me with more stuff, because guess what? When people going through stuff like this, I can talk to them, and they can know that they're going to get out of that too. Being connected to the Most High and trusting in the Most High and His Word. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> oh, y'all want to know what song is playing in my mind? It's that mace. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, and the song that my brother was playing, uh, it had me cracking up. Because I ain't hear that Soldier Boy in a long time. And he be like, uh... It's the it's swag on, no. Hold on. Because I downloaded it. I downloaded it after I heard it because I was cracking up. Turn my swag on. When he be like, uh, I'm back again. I know a lot of y'all thought I wasn't coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so none of y'all shit work it work. Look, transformation in reverse, the witch in reverse, the candle magic in reverse, calling upon trying to scramble my senses, that's in reverse. And whatever y'all was doing, it was dark up under the moon, that's it's all in reverse. So the rituals didn't work either. They didn't work on me, but that energy is still being channeled to y'all. Y'all were seen. Y'all can't put the veil or the wool over nobody's eyes. I'm ready for them storms. That's why I was had to go through the darkness to get to the light. <laughs> well, y'all gonna learn, though. It's all a learning experience. I'm learning, too. <laughs> for real. Yep, rebirth. That's all I'm gonna do. Rebirth. Y'all was on my ass with that temptation and messing around in that underworld. Very mischievous. Thought y'all was trailing on my tail, huh? Y'all gonna, gonna learn about messing around in that underworld and learn about what y'all do. And it's gonna hit y'all right in the ass. Right in the ass. Yep, divination, insightful, guided by the light. So I knew when y'all, I knew what y'all was doing, and y'all can go to them divination people and them high, uh, voodoo priestess or whatever the case may be to be fucking around in the underworld. Go ahead, <laughs> cause they could get it too. <laughs> they can get it too. But I know what goes on in the underworld too. Bye this as well and amongst and what i told y'all i got with them it is what it is then y'all wanted somebody to bleed to death releasing banshees and shit <laughs> y'all crazy man seduction magic i told y'all that sex magic and that bullshit too it's all coming out i just wanted to pull this to see what else going on y'all messing with ancient shit and shit <laughs> y'all ain't playing but Yahweh ain't playing either. Yep, ain't yeah, y'all ancient y'all messing with ancient shit. Going to the darkest of places to get shit. Cauldrons, messing with the elements, using y'all voices, speaking shit over me. At the graveyard. Probably burying shit in the graveyard. Y'all weird. And some of y'all got people at the graveyard because of what y'all was doing. Somebody could have lost a daughter or a son. Somebody could have lost a wife. Somebody could have lost a mama. Y'all, y'all people's souls is in that graveyard. Or they're going to be. Or y'all will be. Because y'all teaming up doing the bullshit. 
Messing with them crystal and herbs. Trying to mess with my harvest. Want to empty out my milk and honey. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? You gonna empty out your own shit. Is what you gonna do? This is just awful. Awful, awful, awful. Y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all selves. But I see y'all ain't got no shame. So y'all keep going at it. But hey, y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do, huh? Let's see. Look, and then I'm picking up this deck to use this other deck here. Something something may end up occurring with some transportation, or somebody could have messed with somebody's transportation. Two as well. Yep, we got kitchen wishes, people, family. We got roots. Y'all just busy. Something might happen with somebody's home, foundation. Split in the deck, we have water. That's my element. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I got all of them signs in my chart. And then we got sultry. Your, your serene presence makes you otherworldly with the ability to feel physical sensations as they are very high in trapping those around you in your rapture. So let's just see. Let's just see. Somebody could have put some roots or some kitchen stuff or some some stuff on somebody's transportation and stuff too. Y'all, y'all been y'all been busy. Healing hands. You're able to use universal energy with your hands to help people alleviate physical, spiritual, or mental suffering and clear energetic blockages. So y'all think I can't do that for myself? Old soul popped out too. You've been around many lifetimes and you have chosen to be reborn to evolve and carry on your learning journey from where you left in your, left it in your previous lifetime. So I've been here. That's why I like that song with Anderson Pack. When he be like, yeah, it's in my, I think it's in my, my shorts too. You messing with a old, you're fucking with an old soul twice removed. <laughs> I like when you say that, man. Somebody, uh, that candle magic. Somebody been doing candle magic. But I'm connected to the fire element too. I have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in my chart. In healing placements, in love placements, North Node, man. <laughs> Y'all is just, <laughs> it don't make no sense, man. Alchemist, so all of that candle magic, that fire shit, that bullshit that wasn't working on me, Alchemist. Can transmute, transmute negativity and darkness and bring it to the light, just like I had to be through Yahweh. Hmm. Yeah, after this, I'm getting out of here. But I'm going to still upload it. Channeler. With a heightened consciousness, having the power to channel divine messages, you have the ability to open people's eyes to the unforeseen. So I see what you can't. We have rebellion. Your rebellious mind is a force that is able to remove smoke screens, illusions, that means I can see through them, which cloud minds, someone who follows their own path, which is not that popular, unseen. You have an invisible force that is, inten that is an intangible quality, impossible to describe, very alluring in a non-obvious way, keeping people puzzled to know more. Anything else we need to know at this time? What do you know? Descendant. 
You come from a long line of healers, herbalists, and wise folk. Their ancient knowing resonates today deep in your spirit. You will know yourself by knowing them. And I'm telling you, my long life, my, my, my spiritual family is the most high. Yahweh Elohim Yahshua and the angels. That's my spiritual family. That one spirit, one understanding. And then on top of that, which I had did like a high priestess show and tell before. Um, y'all can type in Yana Spirit and type in show and tell. And, you know, look at that video. I explain, you know, the meaning behind some of the things that I have here on my table. But I also talked about the people in my family that, you know, were high priestesses and had, you know, abilities and stuff like that as far as my auntie, my great grandmother and things of that nature. Storyteller, you have the ability to express life through stories and enhance your magic with symbols. Spirit may also communicate with you through synchronicities. And then we have diviner right after that. You have the you have a natural talent for divination, revealing what is hidden or hear answers that may come in many forms to help point you in the right path. Chameleon. Being a chameleon allows you to be able to mingle with different kinds of people and develop various aspects of yourself. Can counsel relationships, double confirmation of star seed coming out here. You're a traveling soul who incarnated on earth to inspire and heal human beings and participate in the planet's evolution. Mystical. Something, something very mystical about you, which gives, which gives people the impression that you're very much in your power and you are young at heart. So that's also that childlike energy too as well, but also very much a woman. That's why I came out as the page of cups, the queen of cups, the high priestess and the empress and the judgment. Unhibited. You are unbridled erotic energy in its purest tantalizing form, having the ability to help others release sexual fears and be more authentic in their sexual ex expression. Pure energy, self-love. And it wanted to come out the card that I read to y'all in the beginning, Serene Presence. The gift of discernment too. So I am able to discern when something is my energy and when something is somebody else's energy and when somebody doing some bullshit. Air element, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they all in my chart as well. Airs in my south node, my rising, my moon, my Jupiter. Yeah. You have a strong connection to the air. And then look, all of the elements popping out. <laughs> just, like, just confirm what I was saying. We seen water, we seen fire, and we seen air. And y'all using them elements, trying to use them against me, and that's what I am, and that's what I'm made up of. You are too, but you don't know yourself. But instead of trying to get to know yourself, you focus on just trying to destroy me. Instead of trying to get to know yourself and learning the creator, you're trying to destroy me. Who has a higher call? And who's in it. And who's focused on working on it. Please go ahead. Get y'all some business. And I ain't that business. But if y'all want to keep focusing on me. And keep giving me energy. And keep empowering me. And keep enhancing me. Go ahead. Because as you can see I'm already that. It's coming out. Anything else we need to know? Connected to music. And like I told y'all, while y'all was doing that, I was singing to the creator. <laughs> we got hope here. You offer the most valuable gift there is, hope. Through your optimism and support, you inspire hope in others. Fortunate. You have a pioneer spirit that can manifest abundance easily. 
And then we have which you're strongly connected to the universe. And if developed through study and practice, you can live an empowered life that could bring forth positive changes. So I can be considered a witch. I do divination too. We have undecided. In this lifetime, you were given an opportunity to, to fully explore your options and prepare you for the next. As a result, you may experience many different adventures. And that's what I'm working on. Because this is the gift that keeps on giving. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my fashion, doing my music, doing my poetry, doing my divination. Because I can do that. I can explore. And that's what I'll be focused on. And for some reason, y'all focus on me. We have performer. You are meant to be in the spotlight and be successful doing it. With a natural ability to draw a crowd and influence others with charm, with your charm and talents. Intuition. And it, it came right after that. So I'm supposed to be using my intuition. Hello! <laughs> the fuck to do what I do. Stop hating and connect to yours. That's what you need. That's what y'all need to do. Focus on your own shit, your own internal guides, your own intuition, and stop fucking worrying about me. Unless you're trying to get the message. Other than that, go on ahead somewhere because all y'all doing is chopping yourselves down bit by bit. Bit by bit. Intuition. You have a strong intuition with an innate sense of events, thoughts, or feelings of others. Your intuition can manifest in the gut feeling and serve as an eternal guide. Clear audience. You have the gift of receiving intuitive messages from spirit. It may sound as if it's right next to you inside your head or echoing as if from another dimension. So I can see you. I can hear you. <laughs> we have the catalyst. You're someone that evokes progress and change in people, making them aware that something could be better, leaving them forever changed. Demolisher, you have the ability to step out of the past and let go of old energies and step into new with ease. You thrive off change. Wild child. The wild, rebellious side of you keeps people on a roller coaster. You're not afraid to break the rules and rebel against authority to achieve your goals. So I may not be what you may like. I, you might not like my mouth. Hell, you might not like me. Oh, well, don't watch. Don't watch. Because I'm going to do me. I'm going to be me. And I don't remember the most I said, oh, no, you got to act just like this. <laughs> no. And for real, I don't even really be on nothing. I might cuss a little bit or a lot of bit. But I don't be on nothing. Get your head out your ass. Get your head out your ass. Get your head out your ass. Two sides. You have an extreme two sides. But with yet much grace and poise, this ability gives you an advantage by keeping them in wonder. I have a light side and I have a dark side. Been through the dark to get to the light. And it's all within me. Just like it's within you. Mystifying. You exude mystery. Teacher. Your words have the power to heal. Making you a source of light for the wounded. That come to you for guidance and wisdom. To give them strength and direction. Indigo child. It is your mission to access higher wisdom and knowledge and intelligence so that you can bring it back down to planet Earth. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And that's why I don't be getting effed up and rolled over. Because I'm a sweetheart. Oh, we got split in the deck. Water, the water element again. In fashion. Just what I was telling y'all. And then we have clairvoyance. You possess clear vision, perceiving with the mind's eye, inner vision, or extended visual capacity that can include images from the past, present, and future. Psychic dreams, what I told y'all to as well. So it's just confirmation of we seeing exactly what I be saying. And it, 
it be what's going on. I share it with y'all. So I'm not only blessed, you are too, because it's being shared with you. Like... <sighs> Venus, you're deeply connected to Venus. Deeply connected to love, divergent. You stand out from the rest. The way you think, the way you dress is rare, it's unique, making you very desirable. Earth elements, all the elements. Capricorn towards Virgo, and I have all of those in my chart too as well. in two placements and those two spots in my chart and then in two houses the other so i could come out too is the queen of pentacles and not only just because i have earth in my chart capricorn taurus virgo but because i'm about my business And I'm focused on that business. And I'm also very mature. Yeah, just because I'm funny and I joke with you don't make me not mature. So that's why I'm also the Queen of Pentacles. And I'm the Queen of Cups because I'm very nurturing, very loving. If people tell you the truth about me, they know I'm going to take care of you. And I'm also loyal. And I'm also psychic. And I also care. So I am that queen of cups, queen of wands, because I'm confident. I am fiery. I am passionate. I am that leader. So I am that queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius too. Air, queen of swords. I will get with you. Y'all hear my mouth, but I also will be fair about it. And I am also very intelligent. And I'm that protector. So I am that queen of swords too. And I am the empress because I am beautiful. And I have that. I'm not a mother, but I do have that energy. And I do nurture people. I do. And I love to. And I'm not going to be apologetic for what I love to do and how I am. It is what it is. When you come to me, yes, if I, if I can, listen, I will feed you. I will nurture you. I will listen to you. I will protect you. I will be those things that you need. I took a step back because I was pouring in so much to other people and I wasn't pouring into myself, but now I have poured into me and baby. I love me. That's why that self-love is out there. <laughs> okay. And then I'm also that high priestess, that oracle, that person that has vision, wisdom. I am connected to a higher power. So I am all the women in the deck. So when people even try to be slick and try to do what they do, I be laughing because I know who I am and I know what I do and what I don't do. And I can come out in any motherfucking form. So when y'all go to them high priestess and them voodoo priestesses and that bullshit, go ahead. Just make sure they reading correctly. <laughs> like, make sure they reading it properly. Because I come out in all forms and it ain't because I'm no motherfucking shapeshifter, which I can also do that as well. But it's because I embody it all and I'm going to use it all. I'm going to use every part of me. And I'm going to be unapologetic about it. I'm not sorry for shit. And y'all ain't stopping shit. Crystal child, you're, help, you're here to help uplift the planet of harsh energy, bringing forth healing and peace. And also assist humanity in its soul growth and evolution. Mirror. The ultimate mirror. You disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves and begin to heal and change. So I may irritate some people too. And people may try to say, oh, you know, she toxic. She be talking like this and she do. That. No. It's your energy. Boo. Boo is being mirrored right back to you. You don't like it, huh? That's the whole point. So you can see you and make no mistake. 
Yahweh hold that mirror up to me too. I got to see me. I got to deal with that. I got to love every part of it. I got to work on it. I got to heal it in order to be who I am and do what I do. So it ain't like I'm not going through what y'all are going through just because I'm a mirror and I'm you, seeing you. I also got to see me too. Oh, that's why I check myself right in front of y'all. Y'all see me do that when I pick up that pendulum and check myself right in front of y'all. I ain't got no problem with that. Because I have to self-check too. And if I'm giving you something, hey, I got to do what I'm telling y'all what I got going on. And that's what I do. I always check myself. That's why even sometimes in certain situations, I even apologize to people, even when they did some shit to me. I still apologize even sometimes because of my reaction. Confirmation, because I was doing that shit when I was getting dogged. But people thought when I apologized and when I when I came to them with an open heart, they looked at it as I, I was being weak. No, I was just taking my part in it because everybody play a part. I was just owning up to my part. And what I have learned is seeing people ain't want to own up to their shit. So I carried my shit and did some too. You can't call me my weak ain't in my motherfucking vocabulary because I ain't weak. That's what, that's what people like to say. Oh, you acting weak, bitch. You have no idea all of the shit that I've been through and clawed through and the things that I've been through over and over again too until I got it. So ain't no, I'm not inexperienced sitting up here talking to you. And yeah, I might be young, but so what? He jam-packed me with that knowledge physically and then poured it into me spiritually. So I got both. Well-rounded. That's why I could, I could talk to you real proper. Real intelligent, and I can also talk to you real hood like. And it ain't no problem with it. Why y'all always like to motherfucking judge people too? But look at you. Don't never want to look at that shit. Y'all try to down people because of where they come from and shit. Like, make it the. Let me keep going. Before I get y'all a piece of my mind. Because that's exactly what y'all be doing. Seeker. Confirmation. Seeker, your natural thirst for wisdom and truth elevates your spiritual journey and self-awareness to help those. Man, this is just what I thank you, Yahweh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I can't thank you enough. And self-awareness to help those that are also in search of answers on their own path, man. <laughs> Dimension travel. You're able to open gateways to realms outside of this dimension it can be discovered naturally or through performance decide on your realm <laughs> like just thank you for the confirmation here we have the dead you communicate with the dead it could be in a form of inner sensing seeing or hearing and that was in reverse too Let me check on that. Because that show was in reverse. Let me check on that. Um, can I communicate with the dead? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure because it did come out in reverse. We have detachment. So to get the detachment too because I can't detach from you. <laughs> People know about that too. At first, I wasn't doing it because, you know, I was just like, you know, I was just more so always thinking about Yashua, like, he would forgive, but you could forgive and love from a distance, you ain't got to be up on it. <laughs> when I learned that, it was like, oh, I'm chucking up the deuces, whoa, whoa, <laughs> tell you that I'm leaving, listen, okay, because I, you, you ain't. 
And you know, you know something, y'all, for real, on some real stuff. You know, you ain't gonna always get that fifty fifty. You ain't gonna get what you what you pour in all the time. And I understand that. I do. But you ain't finna low blow me or play me. Then when it's just like too fucked up, like nah, like you doing ten and I'm doing forty, I'm dipping on your ass. Or you know what I meant to say, uh you doing 10 and I'm doing 90. I was thinking about that 50 that I was just talking about. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, no, I'm gone. And when I found out that I was okay, and I don't have to put all it, I don't have to put everything on my shoulders of other people as well as myself. And I don't even got to take it all on for myself because Yahweh Elohim Yahshua is there to carry that and lighten the bird. And when I found that out, boy, y'all, listen. I'm heavy, but I've been light as a feather. <laughs> you know, speaking of that heavy, because I am plus size, honey. But, but listen, been lighter than I ever been. And that's also why I got so much joy, because I got the best partnership in a relationship that you can have, as it came out and in it shown. And I'm very proud of that. And I'm happy to see it. I don't care if y'all not happy about it. Go take that up with yourself. But you're not going to dismantle it. You're not going to destroy it. You're not going to destroy what's internally in me. You're not. And I ain't going to let you. Moving on. Shaman. You could tap into you could tap into a powerful way of guiding your life and the lives of others. Often through great struggle that you learn and break free and awaken to the truth to help others. So like I said, I'm not just up here talking to y'all, bullshitting, shooting shit. I done been through the great struggle. Hell, still, <laughs> but I just got so much peace, so much love, so much joy that it outweighs anything that I go through. But I've been through it all. That's why if you going through health issues, if you're going through uh, money issues, if you're going through, um, you know, manipulation, being hurt, being backstabbed, being betrayed, people trying to control you, spiritual things, physical things. I don't, you could come talk to me and I could talk to you because, damn it, <laughs> I had to go through it and I had to learn from it and I had to grow from it. See, the thing about Yahweh, too, is what I've learned because I even asked. I'm like, you sure? You want me? Because <laughs> I asked, too. That's why I love this song, and I be always singing it. And it's by um, Daniel Caesar, Get You. I be singing that to him all the time because who would have thought? Who would have thought? But I am honored. I am humbled and to have that grace, that love, that connection. And it also shows something else, like, because I was even questioning, like, because I am from the hood. Shoot, I am who I am. And I don't look like how people want me to look or, you know, all of that. And Yahweh still chose to love me and to connect with me. And that's just to show you that that's what he would do for you too, no matter what you've been through. No matter how you look, no matter what you have or what you don't have. No matter how you appear, just because you are not proper or because you don't talk and move and walk like everybody else, guess what? Guess who Yahweh won't? You. And people can't take it. And people can't take that the people that they think ain't supposed to be super close to them is connected at the hip. Pulling on the coat. Riding with them. So they hate. So that's how you know it's real too. <laughs> because people all also, when it's shown, people also claim they love, love, love the creator in that. But every time the creator presents somebody or, or brings somebody in his name or somebody of his essence, y'all show motherfucking be hating. I'm going to tell the truth. Shit. Y'all show be hating. So <laughs> I can't tell. 
But moving on. Angel. You're an angel on earth sent here to learn certain things about the human condition and to guide humans on earth. A spirit guide and training to teach and help heal others. Telepathy. Your gift of telepathy is strong with the ability to read minds. Everything I just said, I mean, it's just coming out. It's confirmation. And I'm going to say thank you again. And thank you again. The ability to read minds and project thoughts into the minds of others and understand your own body and mind as well as others. Moon goddess, like I said, connected to the moon and the sun. In sync with y'all be doing with what y'all be doing that work up under. <laughs> oh shit. Clara sentience. You have that so I can feel you too. But y'all know that's why y'all be shook and y'all be trying to do shit to me to try to <laughs> mess with it because y'all know I can. But I'm not doing I'm not here to hurt you. You're supposed to be taking in this guidance and help. Oh, maybe I don't need to do that. Oh, maybe I can take a different route that may be less uh, less of a burden for me. Because you still gonna go through, just like even though I do this and this and that and learn and stuff, I still gotta go through and learn more. I'm going to still go through things and learn more and bring something back to you. I'm not exempt. <laughs> Just because I know a little something. That's why, and, and that's why I love when readings like this come out to show you that I'm not exempt because I'm part of the collective too. So when people be hating when certain messages come out and the, and the messenger could be like, oh, you know, this could be for me or it may be about them. And people be hating. Y'all got to shut the, y'all so selfish. Y'all got to learn to shut the fuck up because guess what? That messenger is a part of the collective too. So if the divine want them to know something and the divine might want them to know it and might want them to upload it so you could get the information too. Or to let people know that, oh, it's known what's going on. Just like I'm going to upload this one. Be so selfish. Claire sentience. You have the ability to feel deeply into situations, places, or people sensing something beyond the physical realm. There's an intensity in your face. Like staring into a tiger's eyes, primal energies with the whisper of chaos and passion producing in a sense of incitement in others. <laughs> Confirmation. Anything else? Becoming. You can easily tap into people's fantasies and become them. Multifaceted, complex, and well-rounded, making you hard to read. The gift of clear continence. You're able to know things without having any previous knowledge bestowed upon you by your higher self, spirit guides, or simply downloaded into your mind. Yeah. Last shuffle. Anything else? Moon goddess came out. Devilish ways, your devious ways create a touch of danger that is hard to resist. There's a dark side to you that keeps them intrigued, which I have. I came from the dark to the light. Like what they say, you walking around like a brute beast where you cut that light on in you? Yes, I got that. We all do. We're all positive and negative. The devil and the angel is out here. We're all dark and light. But best believe I use my darkness for good. Or with an agenda. But I still have it and I still embrace it. Confirmation. I still have it and I still embrace it and I infuse it 
within myself. That's why that's showing the balance between my masculine and feminine, between light and dark. Sun and the moon. That's the essence. <laughs> Empath. You have the ability, you have the empathetic abilities, being able to feel a other another person's emotions as well as their thoughts and energy, having no control over this exchange. Which is true. Like, y'all, I gotta tell y'all a story about like that's why I said keep keep enhancing me. Do what you I gotta do. Cause just even with this this empath, listen. I think I, I don't know if I already told this story to y'all, but I'm about to tell it again. Just and I and I could feel people from afar. I could feel you in another country or across states. And this got confirmed to me too. So this one day, um, helping my grandmother move, me and my mom, we in the car. I'm sitting in the car and, and listen, my cousin called me early that morning, but I didn't answer because we was, you know, getting stuff together to, you know, help my grandmother move. And I didn't see her call. But this feeling just came over me. And it was like this feeling of sadness. And I wasn't sad. I was chilling. And I'm sitting in the car and it's like my heart is breaking. And I'm just like, why is my heart broken? And like, again, you have no control over this exchange and feeling other people. So I'm trying to figure out what I could be sad about. <laughs> like, I'm trying to come up with something. I'm like, what can I be sad about right now that could be breaking my heart? So I'm, you know, I'm trying to think of something that can warrant this feeling. So my heart just breaking. And it's just like, and I'm sitting in the car with my mom. Tears is coming down my face. And I'm trying to hide my face from her because I don't want her to ask me what's wrong because she asked me what's wrong. I'm going to say nothing. I'm going to be like, oh, she crazy. <laughs> So I'm trying to hide my tears. Heartbreak music coming through the radio. I'm like, I'm not heartbroken. <laughs> I didn't heal. <laughs> I didn't heal. Like, ain't no way. So I'm just feeling this and I'm crying in the car. And, you know, we move and stuff. We, you know, we get done uh, moving stuff for my grandma and stuff like that. So we end up going to this one store. To, I think my mom was looking for an outfit. So we end up going to this one store. So as we leaving out the store, I'm like, let me call my cousin to see, you know, what's up with her. So I call her on the phone. And I'm like, you know, how you doing? You know, our normal. What's up? Just checking in, checking on you, seeing how you doing. So, and I don't, I and I, and I just, I asked her this and it freaked her out. But I was freaked out, too, because I'm like, shit. <laughs> I asked her, I'm like, were you crying or were you hurt or were you heartbroken? Because she was, she didn't want to talk about it because she was like, oh, I, w- I was going through something. But I'm, you know, whatever. But I, before she said that, I asked her, I'm like, were you crying? Were you heartbroken? And she told me, she was like, yeah, I, you know, I was going through it. She's like, why you ask me that? I said... Man, Katie, don't be scared, but I felt your heart break. And we like three states away, three, four states away. And I felt every bit of what she was going through. So I told her, I'm like, you don't even have to talk. I felt you. I felt everything. So she like, oh, yeah, that's creepy. But I'm like, yeah, I, I felt everything. Cause she like, she was like wondering, you know, like, man, why you asking? Cause I don't really ask her that. Like, oh, is you heartbroken? Was you crying? So we both like, damn. So I'm freaking out. We and then we go to the next store. I'm out in the front of the store, and I'm like, this shoe store. And I'm like, man, what the hell? I felt every last bit of it. And I'm just telling her, you ain't gotta explain. I felt you. But she started to explain the whole thing of what was going on with her. She was sitting in the back seat of the car with her people crying, trying to hide her tears. And I'm sitting trying to cry and trying to hold my tears. I'm like, man, when, when it was like b- blow for blow like that, I'm like, I'm creeped out. <laughs> I'm creeped out. Like, I was getting like, you know, creeped out of myself. And then it was another incident, and this wasn't a feeling, but 
Well, you kind of, you could trying to say it was a feeling. Somebody was thinking about me and they was looking for my number to contact me. Why? And I'll, and I'll just be wondering, you know, was we doing that shit at the same time? Because for some reason I went back to that person's messages and I was looking at the thread and I, you know, I ain't talked to that person and I wasn't planning on reaching out to that person or nothing like that, but I was missing that person and I felt them missing me. Or wanting to, you know, be in contact with me for whatever reason it could have been. Whether they was missing me or not. I felt it. And I was scrolling in my phone just like they was. And when man, when they told me that, I ain't say nothing to them. I did tell them after the fact. But I was like, man, when we got off the phone, I just kept saying, I'm freaked the fuck out. So again, thank you for the enhancement. <laughs> thank you for the enhancements. All y'all doing is amplifying what's within me. Thank you. Hold on. I might be talking too much. Am I sharing too much? <laughs> Hold on real quick. Oh, shoot. Am, am I sharing too much about myself? No. About to say, oh shit, hold on. <laughs> you know, you get to talking, get to flowing, like I'm having a good time. Shoot. But you, I have no control over this. So sometimes I be feeling people from a distance, or I be feeling what they, you know, what they going through. And I don't sometimes I don't, I don't know who you is, or you know, just like even when I was, I ain't know until that person reached out to me and we was talking, and I'm like, well, shit. And that's a part of that discernment, too. Discerning, like, dang, this ain't mine. That's why I was trying to look for something to be sad about, because I'm like, that's, this ain't mine. And I tell myself that. Sometimes it is mine, though, too. And that's why, you know, be having to check myself. Like, dang, you know, is this mine? Do I really feel that way? <laughs> like... So that just goes to tell y'all and show y'all too what y'all be doing, especially if y'all messing with my spirit and trying to do all this stupid shit like I don't know. And I see you. And that's why I like the bottom of the deck what this last card is and we're going to talk about it. But next we have overcome. Having gone into battle with your own dark side, what did I say? Confirmation. Thank you, Yahweh. You can see the divinity and sacred elements in the darkness and in the destruction. That's where the good stuff at, too. <laughs> like, people like to look at the darkness as something bad. No, it's a part of you. The divine created the dark, the light and the dark. There's nothing in the moon. In the darkness, it's still shed light. That shows with the moon. The darkness still got that little light. That's why I like Psalms 91, too. He who dwells in the secret place. Darkness. The light is there too. And then we have femininity. I'm a girl. And I've been getting more girly. <laughs> and I've been enjoying that too. We have unassuming. You're outworldly, soft, and gentle. Your power is in silence. You are non-reactive. And create stillness, making you stand out in the crowd. So, I be quiet, just like I was silent for these past couple days. Or I cut you off and be silent. Or I be silent, even though I know you're doing something. See, my gifts, it ain't for me to come and run and check you and try to control and do some. No, no, no. That's why I don't do that. Even though I know what you're doing. Mm -mm. It's for me to know. And me to learn and see Yahweh in all things and see him move and enjoy the story. Enjoy what I'm seeing. So just because I know these things, I ain't trying to harm y'all or do nothing to y'all. And even when I read a message of like, like what's coming out here, this person going to be the one sick and in isolation and probably in a hospital somewhere and dissatisfied, disappointed, and depressed and shit. I'm not making you that. This is what the fuck you put out. 
or even with that death, that energy that's being channeled back. That's what you did. So it ain't nothing that I'm doing or something that I'm putting on you. I really believe in that vengeance belonging to Yahweh. And I am human. Hell, when somebody do something to you, hell yeah, you be wanting to. But I have enough discipline and enough faith and enough trust that I know that it will be handled. And I'll be seeing it get handled. People that did stuff to me, I'll be seeing the stuff that be going down. And I might share it with somebody showing Yahweh's power. But it ain't not with everybody, probably like my mom or my grandma or something like that. Or just be, be between me and Yahweh. But I also don't boast about it. Like, oh, I could be on the internet. Like, look, such and such. Then got locked up and this person did X, Y, Z to me. No. Mm -mm. I don't need to. I come off how I got to come off when I need to come off that way. But most of the time, I am soft, I am gentle, and I am laid back. But I will lean up. <laughs> I will sit up if I got to. So make no mistake. I love and I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of the relationship that I have with the divine. And then, you know, right up under unassuming. Oh, that's like your dream. But I ain't hiding that for nobody. And I ain't backing down for no damn body. So keep doing y'all shit. Do what y'all gotta do. And I'm gonna do what the fuck I gotta do too. Shit. And that's focus on me. Why you focus on me too. <laughs> Thank you for the energy. But we're going to get these grateful heart messages because it's always something to be grateful for. And on the timer, my birthday was on the timer. 320. And it's Pisces season. And they say the best will last. Hey, hey, hey. It's Pisces season. But let's get a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I love y'all, man. Listen, and look what came out. Nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from, a, from the love of Yahweh that is in Yahshua the Messiah. Honey, nothing in all creation. And I know this to be true. So, honey, no magic, no nothing. Nothing in all creation. Whatever was created, nothing, the devil, nothing will be able to separate from me from what I got going on. And I'd have been through it all. People to try to do stuff to the Bible, the word, all of that. But it's in me, honey. And I've learned that. And I got to see that. And I got to learn that. Through these experiences. And some, they did hurt. But I got to see these words come alive. And I know they're alive. And outside of the Bible. Within. Within these glad tidings too as well that I be reading. Which is in the Bible too. See, y'all be following. Listen, y'all will be supplying us. He don't even got us supplies, but he be supplying us. Because in the Bible, it talked about the glad tidings. And he also came down and brought that. But Yahweh never leaves his creation. But we're going to get into that at another time. Because I'm going to keep it. We're going to be listening. We're going we gonna to be going about that. We're going to get into that at another time. But. You know, through the glad tidings, through volumes too as well. And then here, what I have right here on my right hand side. Elohim, the archetype pattern, original pattern of the universe. And 
Ooh, then look what else come out. Grateful heart message. Yahweh is our refuge and strength and an ever-present help in trouble. So when I'm in trouble, I know who there. On the back, that's just the title, just for you. <laughs> I like what's going on right now, too, because it's just showing. It's showing. And you can believe or don't. Make me know, never mind. I'm going to. We got here. Shout with joy to Yahweh, all the earth. Worship Yahweh with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. And I do what I say. And I be coming to him singing. <laughs> Look how it's all lining up. There is not one blade of grass. There is no color in this world that is not intended to make us rejoice. And that is so true. The things that we just take for granted because it's because you've been seeing them for a long time and through the ages and stuff is so much beauty. So much beauty. And a lot of times we take that for granted. And I say we because at a point in time, I was too. I tell y'all about me. I was smoking. I was, and I was smoking, smoking. I had a lot of weed all the time and people knew that about me. That's they, when it was me, they knew I was coming with the weed to roll up. I even got in trouble one time, but I ain't had no weed. I had a, uh, I had a bong, <laughs> you know, and, and got in trouble with that. So, you know, I've been through some things too as well. Like, I done been drinking and smoking. I know what that's like. I know I didn't did that to try to ease the pain and stuff like that. But now what eases my pain is that word, that love, that knowing that I ain't alone, that relationship with the most high, no matter what, what I go through. Now I'm actually, and that's the thing too, I'm not numbing anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually feeling the things that I needed to been feel a long time ago to learn from them. And sometimes a lot of things do hurt and we try to mask that pain. Oh, let me smoke a blunt. It's going to level it out. It's going to ease it real quick. Oh, let me, you know, get that drink. I was that. And I don't judge nobody for it. I was that. But when you mention stuff like, oh, I don't smoke. I don't drink no more. It's been... It's been a year. Da, da, da. People be hating. What the fuck is you hating for? That's That could be something for them to be proud about. You don't know what they've been through. I was smoking and drinking for a, a minute. So to be able to say, oh, I ain't been smoking and drinking in, in a year. I'm, I, I, could, I could talk about that. Anybody else, even if they stop smoking and drinking for a week, God damn it, they can be proud of that and talk about that. It ain't no dicks to nobody that is doing it. And when I first got into the word, that's why I got to see that pot. Listen, man, this is, it, it's just beautiful. Like when I, when I first got into the word and I'm reading and mind you, before I got into the word, I used to always, you know, I used to pray and stuff like that, but, and I used to talk and write journals and stuff like that, but I didn't have that close relationship and I didn't know like I know now. So when I started getting deep into it, and it was something I always wanted to do, you know, not be smoking, not be drinking because I was doing it too much, you know, got an ounce, smoking an ounce, got an eighth, smoking an eighth, you know, like just spending all the money on weed and the edibles and all of that stuff could have been going to something else, you know, kicking it around people you ain't got no business, kicking it around, you know, just not being aware, not being fully aware. So when I first got into the word, I'm like, all right, I stop everything cold turkey. Mm. And that was me trying to move and do how I wanted to move and do, right? So I fell back into it. 
Because I, you know, tried to cut off everything called Turkey once I got in. Cause, and that was me, you know, trying to flex my own power, right? So as I stopped, I went back into it. And I got to see the divine power at work. I got to see the most high work through that word and, and, and stuff like that and keep going. And as I slowly start to become less and less to the point where I ain't need it no more. Even if I am going through something, I ain't got to go smoke no weed to ease it off or anything like that. I can go pray. And they act faster than a blunt. So I got to see divine power at hand with that. So he's showing me that it wasn't through just me through him, through that power. So I already know. That's why even with the gifts that I have, the dreams, the things that I see, the feelings that I have, the minds, the things that I can read sometimes that's on people's minds, energy, feelings, all of that, me reading through these cards, all of that, I still say, listen, I am a vessel. Yeah, I'm your high priestess. I I am a high priestess and I am an oracle, but guess what? That high priestess within me is the most high. And I always got to give that credit because guess what? I'm not omnipresent. I'm in this dining room right now. But Yahweh is omnipresent. And we're going to always respect that power, that higher power, that greater power that is greater than all of us, that is within all of us. The one who deserves all of our respect and praises, regardless. And that's why I give it. Everything don't be always peaches and cream or how you want it to be or whatever. But just even learning through that. The things that I've been through, even through that, I learned that Yahweh is all that I need. And I got to live it. So I just ain't going to sit up here. I'm just not sitting up here just telling you things. I have lived through these things. So what I am speaking to you, I have experienced. Whatever you lose, he will replace that with better. With him. Feel those voids and those holes. And that's why when you that's why a lot of people, you don't fill it with him, you don't connect, and that is the missing piece. That is what you're longing for. And you think it's outside of yourself, but it's in you. But you're not connecting to it. So you have that void, you have that hole in you, and you try to fill it up with all of these different things. And you always be hungry for more. And that's why you do more of it and more and more and more. And you still don't have peace. Love. I learned to have grace with my own self. You know? Loving myself more through how much the most high loves me. And he loves us all. The feeling that in my heart that I experienced, man, you I, like I can't hold that love. And I, I, it's beyond what we can even comprehend. What also came out is here. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessing. Never lose an opportunity of seeing anything that is, be that is beautiful. For beauty is Yahweh's handwriting. A wayside sacrament. Welcome in every fair face and every fair sky and every fair flower. And thank Yahweh for it as a cup of blessing. 
Those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you, Yahweh, have not forsaken those who seek you. Bottom of the deck, all praise to Yahweh, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. And I'm pulling some of these thank yous because it's, it's a lot to be thankful for, and I'm thankful for a lot. You can tell them what I'm thankful for, and I'm going to read it right off and say thank you. And these are probably things that I be thankful for every day because I am, no matter what it is. The what fell on the floor is thank you for loving me in spite of me. <laughs> Look how that's too old. <laughs> Anything else? All right, last shuffle. This is my thank you, Yahweh deck. bottom of the deck thank you for being my guide and then again i told you i would fell on the floors thank you for loving me in spite of me very thankful and y'all ain't know that's why all these cars were shooting out like they were very and i'm always be no matter how nobody feel about it most of the day Thank you for an abundance of love, Yahweh. Thank you for seeing me, Yahweh. Thank you for teaching me, Yahweh. Thank you for being my father and mother, Yahweh. Thank you for being a great husbandman, Yahweh. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for upgrading me. Thank you for making me whole. Thank you for your sacrifices through Yahshua. Thank you for never leaving me. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for my gifts. Thank you for your song. Thank you for giving me grace. Thank you for your comfort. Thank you for your light. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for life and letting me be a part of your story. Thank you for never leaving my side. Double confirmation. Thank you for freedom. Thank you for everything and being my all in all. Thank you for seeing me when I couldn't see myself. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for igniting that flame and passion within me, Yahweh. And I want to talk about this because that's for people who have twin flames. That flame, your know, twin flame triggers you. But that flame, that spark of life, that is Yahweh for you to awaken and be connected. And people try to, you know, dog me about this because I got a twin flame or whatever the case may be or try to hurt me behind it. But I can't help who I'm connected to. That person is my twin flame. It is what it is separate or together but that's what the journey is for for you to connect your soulmate is the most high he is that flame that fire that spark of life and that's why it's beautiful for people confirmation to what i said but that's why it's also beautiful if they come together and they're both are awake and that's why it's beautiful because they're both connected to the most high. They both have that partnership with the most high. They're both alive, full of life. Full of that spirit. I had to go through. Uh, <laughs> I had to go through hell about that too. But woo. Woo. I tell you, that's why I'm thankful for Yahweh, for all that he has brought me through, taught me, guide me, all that I learned, everything. Thank you for your beauty, Yahweh. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for your darkness. And thank you for your mercy. And thank you for your sacrifice. Double confirmation. Y'all know I love music. We're going to pull up some music. And then we're going to get up out of here. We're going to get up out of here. Let's get some music.
we got the oh this is my song too. We got the darkness. This is a band. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of the heart. <laughs> listen to the darkness. I believe in a thing called love. James Brown, the payback. So again, don't think shit won't get balanced. The big payback. Go listen to that James Brown, the payback. Don't think things won't come into balance. Y'all got to pay back what y'all do. What you do to me, you do to yourself. Because I ain't doing nothing to you. Anita Baker, caught up in the, caught up in the rapture. I'm caught up in that love that y'all we got. <laughs> caught up in the rapture. Nothing else can compare. We got Marvin Gaye, Inner City Blues. We got Little John, Lovers and Friends. Solange, Cranes in the Sky. De La Soul, Me, Myself, and I. Ro James, Permission. Al Green, Love and Happiness. Cameo, Candy. Rick James, Cold Blooded. Minnie Ripperton, Loving You. Uh, M Tune, Juicy Fruit. Kim Heaven. Prince, When Doves Cry. Which that part of my name, Yana, that's why I have Yana, which means Dove. And Dove is a messenger. Michelle, something in my heart. Hallie the Bell, new attitude. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We got a new attitude. <laughs> and then we have here Evelyn Champagne, Love Come Down. And then we have Guapel Closer. And then Bottom of the Deck, which I love how this is ending. All nations, Yahweh. All nations, Yahweh. Some of them songs didn't even resonate with you all. There's some dang show for show resonate with me. But I hope you all got a message from this read. that it be able to help you along your journey? Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.